Meghan and Harry's biographer vows to have the world talking in the newly unveiled sequel. Omid Scobie's freshly announced follow-up book will have the world talking with its exclusive revelations, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's biographer have said. Over the weekend, the co-author of Finding Freedom, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's unofficial biography, revealed a sequel to the book was in the offing. Finding Freedom, written by journalist Carolyn Durand, was released back in 2020. Mr. Scobie said he was so excited to finally share the news of the follow-up to the best-selling biography, which is expected to be released next year. HarperCollins publishing the book in the UK, said it will have the world talking with its exclusive revelations. The publisher added that it will look at a new chapter of the royal story and feature unique insight, deep access, and exclusive revelations. They read the book. There is no other reason to put out a volume two. They want to try and discredit Bauer, but since nothing they say has verifiable sources and Sparkle has lied in the past no one will be interested. Now, what is wrong with Scobie's eyebrows and makeup? Is he a girl? Mr. Scobie wrote on Twitter, I can finally share that I am working on a brand new book, so excited to be working again with Carrie Thornton at A Day Street at HarperCollins, US, and Ms. Lisa Milton at, at HQ Stories. The news of Mr. Scobie's new book comes just after royal biographer, Tom Bauer, released his bombshell book, Revenge, Meghan, Harry and the War Between the Windsors. This article was put on the Telegraph site. It said funding free bees was a big hit in the UK and the US, haha. Ha. Omid Scobie is the same as Meghan. Huge liars, Mr. Boris book exposed Meghan so her pet Omid has to make more lies up. Make no mistake, Meghan picked him due to his fake accounts on Twitter which he uses to trash the Cambridges. The book was marketed as delving into the tangled web of courtroom drama, courtier politics, and thwarted childhood dreams to uncover an astonishing story of love, betrayal, secrets, and revenge. Mr. Bauer has said that he is sure the Duchess of Sussex will read the biography packed full of explosive claims about Meghan's life. Finding Freedom was a huge flop that never made back any money for the publishers so I'm surprised that a publisher is willing to take this new book on unless the Sussexes are actually funding this themselves and paying for all publishing costs. This will be another flop ending in the bargain bucket within the first week. He then laughed off the possibility of being sued by the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, commenting, I don't mind if they sue as long as they lose, he told ITV's Lorraine, so far thank goodness they've lost. I think that Meghan if she sues, won't want to appear in court being cross-examined by my barrister, so it's best if she doesn't sue. Prince Harry, 37, is also expected to release his memoirs later this year, although an exact date is yet to be made public. It has been tentatively scheduled for this autumn, with reports suggesting it may hit the shelves in time for the U.S. Thanksgiving and Christmas periods. Last year, the Duke of Sussex said he was creating an intimate and heartfelt memoir about his life. Prince Harry called the book an opportunity to tell my story. He said, I've worn many hats over the years, both literally and figuratively, and my hope is that in telling my story, the highs and lows, the mistakes, the lessons learned, I can help show that no matter where we come from, we have more in common than we think. He added, I'm deeply grateful for the opportunity to share what I've learned over the course of my life so far and excited for people to read a first-hand account of my life that's accurate and wholly truthful. The memoir published by Penguin Random House will be the definitive account of the Duke's experiences, adventures, losses, and life lessons. How many more talking points to shock the world can they dream up? She was in RF less than two years and we have had Finding Freedom, Oprah, Harry's whining in various interviews, and his much-publicized whinge coming out soon. When will they realize they are nothing and the more they complain the more despised they become? 
they obviously have absolutely no wish to rebuild any relationship with either of their families. Fine by me, but please can they just shut up? Over the weekend, Mr. Scobby said he was so excited to finally share the news of the follow-up to the best-selling biography, which is expected to be released next year. No one really paid much attention to this. It was not greatly picked up by the media and faded away quite quickly, therefore, Scobby has now to sensationalize it by saying, it will have the world talking. It wants Scobby. The fact that when you announced it people just ignored it says all you need to know about how much people want to talk about it. Zero. Nada. N-I-E-T. N-I-C-H-T-S. Rian. Zilch. Scooby-Doo. Dog get yourself a good lawyer plastic boy. You're gonna need one. William and Charles won't put up with your lies. Ever so much easier to use a paid mouthpiece than to see family. Best move back home to mummy's basement, stock up on snacks, dot and be prepared for financial ruin. All the rest of us will have our champagne on ice, a lovely catered meal on good china, flowers, and music while we watch you implode. I can hardly wait. Another book? Why? Could they fit it all in the original book? They have so many stories to tell and so many royals to throw under the bus. I thought Harry had told his story in his upcoming memoirs. Meghan can't have much left to report after her Oprah debacle. She was only in the royal fold for such a short time. I am sure the royal family didn't tell her anything personal or private. If Harry has told her his life story, then it can only be verified as hearsay. If he has had mental health issues since his mom died, as he always states, there would have been so many things going on in his head. I imagine he would have been a very mixed up boy, by the time any gossip gets to Scooby, it will be at least third hand news. The game Chinese whispers comes to mind, I feel more lies and allegations coming on. First of all plastic face, there I sent a chance in Hades I would buy your book, I didn't buy your first one either, secondly, anyone with an ounce of integrity would shun your book also, and last, but not least who the hell would believe you. I've seen the likes of that Scooby-Doo before, he sounds very very familiar. He's another Grima worm tongue. he speaks poison and lies, in an attempt to fool good people. It's not working. He's been rumbled. He has not written about their lies on Oprah. He has not mentioned their lack of content regarding podcasts. He has not dissected the narrative Meghan constructed about having her passport taken and how Harry didn't carry his either. He is about as sycophantic as Bauer is critical. The problem with this war is that it won't end till there's no more money in it. Ignore every book and every article and every debate and it will go away. So Methane has asked Scabies, the Barbie doll, to spew out loads more tosh in response to the Bauer book, and detail what a wonderful and selfless human being Methane is. The world will be talking about what rubbish it really is. Seriously, it's going to get worse before it gets better. I really wouldn't be surprised if someone doesn't commit suicide. Out of desperation of being downbeaten at home and in public. It is so sad! Exclamation mark. How old is this republished article? We read about it last week. Revelations what revelations? After F freebies and H's the man I have become, what revelations will Omid cook? He has had no access to royal households for well over two years, whatever he comes up with would be M.M.'s writing email to him to compile and publish. Another book of lies, of course, the world will talk about it, they will laugh at him, poor silly subservient creature. It won't be the right type of talking or expressions that the world will be expressing, fool. Scooby-Doo writing more lies and untruths that Mega Mouth dictates to him, another waste of ink and paper coming from the so-called environmentalists.